Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. Well, yesterday was a big shopping day and Michelle and I said we're staying home. I didn't go to my picnic last night because I didn't feel good and I'll be honest, I didn't feel good this morning. I actually had a low grade fever. Yeah. But I got some fluids, rested, and it's afternoon so I had to watch church on uh, uh, their their live streams. I, you know, you don't want to take a chance on mm -hmm. going that close to quarters or anything. But Michelle wanted <laughs> lemon bars. Yes, lemon fiber bars from Lidl. Lidl. So we're going to show you Lidl. This video is just going to be a quick <clears throat> little tour for those who haven't been in a Lidl. Honestly, we did. We had never been in one till about six months ago. Yeah. So we found out all about it since then. So Lidl is a German company. It's been around since the 30s. They have 11,000 discount grocery stores. They're like the number one direct competitor to Aldi, Aldi, Aldi however you say yeah. that. And, and <laughs> which is also a German company that we didn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> but they're located all through Europe and they've been working their way okay. through quite a few of the states now. But this is actually a really brand new store. I think it just opened within the last year. Yeah. So, uh, in, in Glassboro. In Glassboro, New Jersey. Yeah. So we'll take you inside and show you what it's Don't like. Yeah, this is we last didn't. Minute. I'm in my grubby clothes. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't do anything. We <laughs> only thing we did was take care of the chickens and made our way That's out. It. So Michelle's pushing the little cart. I got to say one of the things recently has been you see these smaller carts instead of the bigger carts everywhere. They have the bigger carts. Yeah, cup holders and everything. So, but I like these. They do have quite a few carts. <laughs> and I have to say, they're free. Like, you see some discount stores where they charge you like a quarter, you know? And then for the kitties, <clears throat> they have the future littler. I don't know why the alarm's going up. Littler. Littler. It doesn't have a discount store feel. I, I, it feels like Trader Joe's to me. It, it does feel like Trader Joe's. They do have a nice bakery. They do have restrooms. Michelle said she wanted a seedless watermelon. Oh, here's your seedless watermelons. Now I will say, we did get the Lidl cold bag before. This is a nice thermal bag. We only ha and we have like a normal plastic bag in there too. But the the thermal bag, we use that at every store we go to, whether we're coming to Lidl or we're going to Shoprite. We always take our Lidl bag, don't we? I guess. It's very weird to see produce and bread right across from each other. <laughs> Nobody said that the layout made sense. You gonna grab me peaches? One of Michelle's big things is the sugar snap peas. Now I will say, Michelle eats sugar snap peas almost every day, especially on the days she goes to work. But this was where it started it. This was where we got our first pre-bagged sugar snap peas. Now she tries to find them every store she goes to. Yeah, there's some name brands. Well, they're discount name brands. L Little Debbie is not to be mistaken for like a yummy Entenmann's. <laughs> Yeah, 
probably could have gotten it cheaper. Oh, and the cheeses, I was at Shopware this morning, three eighty nine a box. And you paid a dollar sixty something. That's right. <laughs> That's crazy. I've given up hope on this super Oh, uh, yeah. So, they used to have individual packets of their own brand of, we'll say, fake Splenda. And we have not seen it here in quite some time. There we go, Michelle's faves. Our first trip, we were doing um, the shred dye, and we saw these here. You know, frozen healthy option, and they are so good. E even if you're not on a diet, they're it's a fiber bar. They're 90 calories. You know, it's it's not a very big bar, but they're very good. They're very um, I'm gonna say it where honey, close your ears, moist. <laughs> ah, I hate that word. So Michelle says she's getting three. <laughs> we were here one time and they didn't have them at all. <laughs> this is all the snacks and nuts, jellies and jams and peanut butter. Although Joni makes all of her own jam, so she wouldn't need to use any of this. And the coffee. I did try um, coffee pods from here one time and they were okay. It's cold back here. Yes. Now the meats, the meats are all a lot of pre-packaged. So if you look it's a lot of this pre-pack. Oh, we, we got these beef ribeye steaks one time. They're $8.39 right now. They were $4.25, I think. So we had grabbed eight of them. Yeah, <laughs> they were so good. Look, grass-fed organic. Yes. Now, this Restelli, um, I know there's a Restelli Meats in Defer. It's pretty close. I don't know whether it comes from them direct or if they have like a main office. But you can see the prices aren't bad on the meats. Now, for comparison's sake, yesterday I got those pork spare ribs. I got 10 pounds for $12. Here, this is five pounds and it's $20. So I think we did pretty good yesterday. All the chicken, organic orange juice. Good. All right. <laughs> you know, I always find these aisles to be very funny. They're like so miscellaneous. <clears throat> You know? So you say to yourself, do I want some M&Ms? Do I want some organic maple syrup? Or do I need a big backrest pillow? <laughs> it is 
big difference from one side of the aisle to the other. <laughs> We're gonna go around this way and get your sunscreen and get your sandals. can even get tools. <laughs> Soldering station, ratchet set. <laughs> Here's some assorted washers, string. You can see that you guys log in to film tools. Look how good hands are there. Yeah, I know. Whenever I see all the cheese, I think of that movie Borat, when he's like, and what is this? Well, that's cheese. And what is this? Well, that's cheese also. And what is this? That's cheese too. But he does it for like every cheese on the shelf. And then he even goes back to the lower ones, you know? But it is a good amount of cheese. Holy moly. And I'm not just being cheesy. Ah, but I'm All right. Michelle went to go have a bagel this morning and she said she didn't have spreadable cream cheese. Now I do. Now she does. You know, there was a cream cheese shortage for a while, like around, I don't even remember when it was, but they're well stocked in cream cheese. All right. Well, let's continue down the cold aisles. This way I can warm up in the middle. I have had their yogurt before. They are very good. The, no, I didn't try the Greek yogurt. I just tried the regular yogurt, like down here. Yeah. They have key lime somewhere around here, or they did. Yeah, I don't know if they have it anymore. Oh, there it is. is it there? Yeah. All right, grab my key lime. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I think Aldi had um, a fat-free half and half that was natural, and then they put uh, sugar in it. Gotcha. Here they have all your flavored waters over here on the side. It's actually quite a bit. Well. If they want you to hydrate, this is the aisle to hydrate in. Here's your Gatorades. Oh, I didn't even finish the milk, Michelle. I was going back. <laughs> but look, quite a bit of waters. Yeah, I was doing the milks. Eggs, like I, I need eggs like I need a hole in the head. Yeah, it's not too bad, 259. All right, so here's all of our paper products baby food and diapers. Can I just say, I miss baby jar food. Yeah. Oh, really? It's so easy now. Yeah. Part of the fun of having babies, feeding your baby. It is. Well, That's Stephanie, I think, Stephanie, I think you used to actually take out a squeeze bottle, put it on a spoon. Oh, so, true. she's still got the pleasure of feeding a little Gavin. Yeah. Yep, so we're, we're in the Health and beauty and cleaning. Not too bad. Your medicines. <laughs> What's that? No. No. You have your paper products and the all important pet foods. We would probably never find Artie's food here. Ice. 
Two dollars. I used to say two dollars. I just want to say Dollar Tree. It was a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> I know, right? Well, there's there's a Dollar Tree next door. It's a good one, but it's a hot mess in that store. <laughs> I'm gonna do it on both ways. So far, it's a good amount of, that's just the one frozen side. Then we have the soda over here. You can get your Bubba Burgers. And finish up with the ice cream. You can even get New York cheesecake. We will be in checkout number three. So they're like, yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Hopefully, yay. <laughs> so they flash uh, the same sign. They just put like either a red LED or a green LED, whether they're open or not. So they do have. Five registers. And like all good stores, all kinds of temptations right up at the front. Everything you thought you didn't need. Yes. Look at Michelle strong. And I am going to record Michelle checking out. So, let's see. Mostly, I guess it was produce driven. Well, the main reason over was the fiber bars. That was the number one reason to come over. So we didn't get very much produce uh, out yesterday. No, okay. no we didn't. So we needed them. Well, we definitely needed the watermelon. Because the watermelon will go half to Michelle. Good, how are you doing? It will be half to Michelle, half to the birds. Yep. Thanks. Oops, sorry. Thank you very much. We got our stuff, we're done. <laughs> now it is time to go home. And now we'll get our relaxation in. Yes. Uh, Michelle was saying as we were walking to the car that this little plaza that Lidl is in, that now there's a big lots and a broad dress for less that this used to be like one of the last Kmarts. And when I was little, I met Big Bird. <laughs> you met Big Bird at Kmart, there you go. But here we are at the same spot that we wound up at the beginning, uh, but we are done. So one of the things I'd like you to comment below if you can, Michelle said she thought a reminder of a Trader Joe's. What store did it remind you of now that you've seen through it? If you've never been in one, what did it remind you of? Did it remind you of an Audi? Did it remind you of a Trader Joe's? Does it make you think of like a small, uh, kind of local supermarket near you. Let me know in the comments below what you thought Lidl was like, but I, I hope you got a, a layout of the land on what it is if you've never been in one. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great afternoon. Bye.